So you've mastered Easy Flight Simulator and you think you're ready to put your skills to the test? Introducing Pro Flight Simulator, the most advanced flight simulator ever released on the Nintendo Switch. Take flight in real airplanes across a massively detailed open world. Explore high resolution series. Take off, fly, and land. I said f***ing land. Back to the airport, then take off again. Pro Flight Simulator. In an iconic attack plane, the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt 2, or tourist airplane, the 314 Super Tucano, though it's clearly not a fucking tourist airplane. Pro Flight Simulator. From the developers who brought you such Switch indie gems as the hyper-realistic American Wild Hunting and the legendary run-and-gun shooter Hammer 2 Reloaded, Pixarts brings you an asset flip to top all asset flips, which will literally make you wonder why Microsoft even bother. Pro Flight Simulator. Pre-order now from the Switch eShop for only $14.99 or your local equivalent. Pro Flight Simulator. Subject to purchase necessary, season and C's apply. Nintendo takes no responsibility for this shipping on our eShop. Nintendo will not offer any refunds to unsatisfied customers. Consult your doctor if you think you may be pregnant. Always read the label. How's it going Star Seekers? Welcome back to the channel and to another asset flip warning video which hopefully from that intro you've gathered is for the upcoming Pro Flight Simulator game from Pixar's. Now I covered their Easy Flight Simulator a while back and it seems that they're taking the game up a notch by releasing another flight sim which is due to release on the 22nd of October so I figured I'd take a look into this one as well because Pixar's being Pixar's I had absolutely zero doubt that this one was just going to be another asset flip. Now after heading to the Unity Asset Store and popping the words Flight Sim into the search box, I came across the Cilantro Flight Simulator Toolkit available for €61 Euros. and this one's a pretty solid looking flight simulation system which includes everything you need to get your planes or indeed any aircraft off the ground and it allows you to simulate any type of fixed wing aircraft including jets, propeller powered aircraft and gliders. Now with a bit of technical know-how, you can actually add any type of aircraft to your game using this tool and you may be wondering whether Pixar's have actually mustered the motivation to get the creative juices flowing with this one and have possibly added their own custom planes to the mix in the Pro Flight Simulator game. Well, taking a look at the eShop listing for it, we see that they mention both the A-10 Thunderbolt 2 and the Super Tucano, but there's no mention of any other aircraft and the eShop screenshots only show these two aircraft too. Taking a look next at the key features of the asset itself, we see that it's compatible with Android and iOS devices, supports joystick compatibility and other mechanics such as health, damage and weapon systems, but right down at the bottom we find the included samples section, which tells us that the asset contains 12 scenes with two fully configured aircraft, those being the A29 Super Tucano Demonstrator and the A10 Thunderbolt Demonstrator. And so I'm going to go out on a limb here and speculate that Pixarts haven't actually added any additional planes to the mix and as per usual they're just putting out an asset flip which contains nothing but the core demo assets which come with the toolkit. Now I was able to play a little demo which shows the capability of the toolset and this is available directly from the Unity page as a web demo or as a downloadable Android APK. The demo lets you fly both the Tucano and the Thunderbolt and play around with a few other features and I suspect that this demo actually contains everything available in Pixar's game plus of course the addition of at least one of the land masses and possibly a menu from which to select your plane from. I also suspect that binding the controls to the Nintendo Switch wasn't too much of a challenge for a veteran programmer like Benoit Verasse, but despite there being a full tutorial on how to add new aircraft types to the toolkit, my intuition is telling me that this was far too much work for him to handle, though I'm not about to drop 15 quid to find out whether or not I'm right on that one. So Pro Flight Simulator from Pixar's is coming out on the 22nd of October and I recommend you stay clear of this one, just like I recommend steering clear of anything that Pixar's produces. If you want to know more about Pixarts as a so-called developer then you can check out my dedicated video on them linked down below and if you also want to see just how much of an issue asset flipping is becoming on the eShop then I also recommend checking out my eShop asset flips how big is the problem video also linked below. Hopefully this video helped you out though and maybe saved you a couple of quid or if not that at least give you a bit of a laugh and if it did feel free to show your appreciation by hitting that like button. As always feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for more content on Switch asset flips as well as actual Nintendo Switch games. For now though I want to thank you all once again for watching and until next time take care of yourselves and game on.